Okay, well, here it is, 30 days on raw vegan foods. This is Your Health, Your Way. I'm Kurt, and today we're just going to go ahead and recap um, the success of our 30-day project. But today, let's start out with how our day went today. Well, we just came off of the weekend, and during the weekend is when I have the highly processed and cooked foods, and I had a lot of crackers this weekend, my lattes, I had... Um, just awful, awful processed stuff. <laughs> Not a whole lot of it, just but just enough, I guess. And this morning I woke up, and last night as well, and I was just feeling like gloomy and sad, and uh, just this this energy, just like this grayness uh, about me. Mm -hmm. And I also felt poofy and more redness in the face because of all the the salt and all the grains. So it's interesting what our body goes through when it's trying to expel this. Now, if I stay on it, I probably would not keep feeling like that. I would keep getting the stimulation, you know, every so often. You know, every time I go on a, on a downward, I have processed and cooked food and I come back up. And mm -hmm. I think that's what we do, basically, in, yep. in this society nowadays. With going back and forth from a lot of raw fruits, raw vegetables, to processed foods, and, and again, you feel this kind of roller coaster ride, and it's not pleasant at all. It, it's really not. So today, I uh, I started out with a, a green juice for breakfast, and I had a green juice later on in the morning, and then at lunch, I had a nice salad, and I feel so much better just mentally knowing that I'm doing something good for myself. Good. You know, I'd like to get to the gym this afternoon, and I, you know, I I really. I really want to do better on the weekend. So even though the 30 days is over, um, I want to continue with um, with this path because it feels good when, mm. when I do it. Mm -hmm. You know, how okay. are you? Well, um, I started off my day with uh, one of the uh, nice fresh berry um, the smoothies that I made. Yeah, berry coconut date yeah. smoothies that are in melon. I guess was in it. Whatever mm -hmm. those basil what a, as well and. Um, and mint, which I think I forgot to mention yesterday. Okay. It was so, they, 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 it tastes really good. With yeah. Them. She's usually a lot more successful making smoothies than I am. So um, I started the day with one of Lisa's smoothies. That was really good. Uh, for a mid-morning snack, I actually had the salad that you made. Mm -hmm. um, and I was really hungry for this morning for some reason. So I just went ahead and had that. And it, it really helped to fill me up and, and did the job. It was, again, mm -hmm. you know, when we talk about salads, we're not talking about a small, you know, side salad. When Lisa makes me a salad, it's a meal-sized salad. So it's plenty to fill me up. Um, and then at lunchtime, I had uh, the other smoothie, which was the same mm -hmm. as the breakfast smoothie. Um, and that really, you know, kind of helped keep me going. So, um, and here we are in the afternoon, um, and this is day 30. I'm feeling pretty good. So how do you think we did overall? I think, oh, just actually since I have this here, this is about the size of the, um, the smoothies that we have at any, at any given time. Right. That's a 35 ounce uh, yeah, about, cup huh? or one liter, yeah. depending on how you want to look at that. So. 35 plus because you could fill it up all the way. So it's sure. like a 40 ounce. Right. And you can carry it with you. It's great. So, yeah, so, they're very they're very helpful, and and we color coordinate them so that <laughs> we, know, we know who's so who. We know who has what. <laughs> so, so how do we do? Um, I I think my first two weeks I started out with it being really really tough because I was so hooked on the the whole cooked food and the processed food. It was really tough, and I remember if I remember back to those videos, it was just. I talked a lot about eating cooked foods, mm -hmm. not just during the weekends, but during the week, and especially our favorite Mexican restaurant, going out to eat. And that was really hard. And then just, it's like an emotional letdown because you, you know that you've, you've given in to this and you're trying to reach a goal, and it just feels like you're going, you know, two steps forward, one step back. Mm -hmm. But I found out that in weeks three and four, it was much easier, and I had and craved cooked foods much less compared to the first two weeks. Good. And one of the things I have to say is that a year and a half ago, when I got really sick and I decided I've, I've got to just find a way to get rid of this asthma and come off these meds, and I researched you know, raw vegan foods, then I started doing it. 
and Kurt would watch me. Now he had already done research on juicing and primate diet and all kinds of stuff years before. But at that moment, a year and a half ago, I started getting sick and tired of being sick and tired and I started making more um, smoothies and juices and salads, a lot of juices. And Kerr would see me, he would see, I don't know if you remember, but I think you, you noticed my mood calming mm -hmm. down. I felt more more relaxed, more it's like more well, balanced. Well, you stopped taking medications for your asthma and your allergies. And over the months I stopped taking that. So I think you kind of saw how well I did and that was motivation for mm -hmm. you. Well, in this process, honestly, I don't know that I could have done it on my own. I mean, I, I guess if I was really sick and motivated, I, cu I could have. But it was really helpful to have you doing this with me because mm -hmm. you just like stuck to your guns for the whole freaking month. And I'm just like, how the hell do you do this? You know, with the way you were eating before, especially right before, to, to do a 100% raw vegan mm -hmm. is just beyond me. You know, and, and, I'm, and I'm just trying to give myself a little bit of cooked food and it was really mm -hmm. hard. And you did, uh, just, just to um, catch everybody up, uh, Lisa did a 70% raw vegan lifestyle for yeah. 30 days and I did 100%. So yeah. just to kind of, it was a good comparison. And you I think. stuck with, you were even like, well, can I have hemp seed? Well, can I have this? Can I have, I'm like, you, you know, it's not a big, you can have, it's like, no, I, you know, raw food. So he really wanted to, to stick to, you know, the, the guidelines. So I'm so glad you did this because I don't know that I could have done it without your support. And I know that there are probably a lot of people out there that have families where it's at least two or more people. And if everybody's not on the same boat, it can be it can be challenging, you know, when you go to the grocery store, when you cook, when you have to make different things for different people, uh, dealing with the the criticisms maybe, or, or you know, people you know thinking you're weird or whatever. You really have to have thick skin, and uh, and and, that, and so I found it helpful to have mm -hmm. your support and to watch you and to go, oh my God, if you were eating cooked foods and X, Y, and Z happened you would have gotten so impatient or so intolerant. And I noticed a totally total change of um, your stress level, your ability to handle things, like you had a major stressor with, with work you had mentioned. And right. uh, I'm, just, I'm just flabbergasted, I really am. But I shouldn't be surprised because I know, I know that, that this happens. So, um, you know, and, and I have learned a lot in, in just doing this project. Okay. Now, how about Great. you? I just spoke like for 30 minutes <laughs> um, unlike me right I uh, I found that um, I was I learned a lot um, I think that um, I, I purposely kind of went into this in in the last the week leading up to this I mean I already knew I wasn't doing very good with my dietary plan and the week leading up to this I kind of purposely really turned up the heat on how much junk I was eating um, just so that I could um, really crank up the results when we did, you know, step into this 30 days of 100% raw vegan mm -hmm. stuff. Um, and I didn't at first notice a really big change. Um, and then when I did start seeing changes, I was seeing these uh, peaks and valleys in, in my mood and in my mental capacity and in how, how much energy I had. And um, it was, I was really kind of starting to get concerned because this went on actually for quite a while and it wasn't really until uh, the better part of these 30 days were starting to, to, to come to an end with like within the last week or so that things started really falling into place. So um, I would say, you know, if, if anybody out there does want to try to do a raw vegan um, plan and you're not doing so well now, you got to give it time to catch up. Um, I even started with a three-day juice fast just so that I could sort of kickstart the, the process of the raw vegan uh, diet plan. And still, it took the better part of a month for me to start really feeling good and feeling energized and not be so tired and to have a, a, a more even uh, and level um, thought pattern mm -hmm. and a more even and level emotional pattern and things like that. So. Um, but I'm glad that I'm here, and I'm glad that it worked out the way it did. Um, so I think the first two weeks, you mentioned a lot on the videos that your patience was mm -hmm. really my was patience. really thin, right? And my tire, I was tired a lot. Too. And you were tired. And then on yeah. the third week, I think the eczema came out, yep. and you had that release, whatever that was about, and it was like a, a total shift after that. And something happened yeah. after that, I guess. So everybody's, you know, everybody's different. We all have, we've said this before, everybody's got to find their own formula and we hope that the things that we're doing here or that you know, we've been able to do with this 30-day project will help people to, to sort of explore your own 
uh, path with awareness about what it is that you can try and, and, and you do, do different things. Um, but I do also want to ask you what is your plan from here forward? I'd like to stay with the 30% cooked, 70% raw vegan. Focusing on leaving the cooked for the weekend and I would like to really explore the exercise portion of this as a mostly raw vegan. I'd like to see about um, putting on some, some muscle or getting leaner and seeing about this whole protein situation, seeing if you know the hemp seeds, the chia seeds, the raw uh, soaked and sprouted nuts and seeds are enough and, and see how we feel from there. And I'll probably add some, some minerals because we had bought those a while back. Probably mm -hmm. start doing some minerals daily to supplement and... Uh, and that, and then just go from there. Just you know, if there's something I'm deficient in or whatever, I mean, we just you know, it's not something that happens from one day to the next, and you start feeling it. So, I feel comfortable in just playing it day to day to see if there's anything extra that I need, like a superfood blend or anything like that. Okay. And then keep, you know, keep everybody informed. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that was it. I, yeah, mm -hmm. like, and I like to add more juices. Mm -hmm more juices because I think that made a difference a year and a half ago. I would do like a, a juice a day and I think that really boosted the detox process. Okay. So yeah, because we, we haven't focused on on weight being an issue with these videos and we did that on purpose because so many people want, the first thing they hear about detox is, oh I can lose weight. And people have so many health problems that weight really it's should... the last thing you should be worried about. It's the last and there's so many things there's a variety of ways you can lose weight. I mean, there's a million different ways that aren't nutritionally unhealthy, but from what we know and what we've taught you, they're mm -hmm. not the best way, and they really don't get to fixing the glands and everything that controls the weight, that controls the the accumulation of toxins or the, or the elimination of toxins mm -hmm. more so. So, um, you know, we have not focused on that, but weight is certainly an issue because it's related to other other weaknesses in other glands in the body. So that's really the issue, not the weight. But people tend to just focus on, on the weight. And that's why we never mentioned it mm -hmm. in this time. Because right. that's that's not really the bottom line of, of getting healthy. There's so much more to it. And there's so many different levels too. Right. So um what's uh what's your plan? Well I'm gonna probably pick up here uh with uh where we are leaving off and I may start to add um some supplements to what I've been doing. Now, when I've been doing this 30 day project, I didn't do any supplements. I didn't do any cooked food, I didn't do any processed food. I tried to stay really strict to what we defined in the very beginning as raw vegan foods. Um, but, and I feel great, no doubt about it. Um, but I'm thinking that maybe uh, it won't hurt to, um, to supplement my vitamin B12 and my vitamin D. Um, now, vitamin B12 can be found in, if you're a vegetarian, you can get it out of eggs. Um, it can also be found in seaweed um, or other sea t seafood types of things. Uh, but that's not readily available for us. Um, and in the soil, when you have organic, and in soil, if uh, you have the, like carrots, if you, they're organic and you don't wash them, right. and you have a little bit of that dirt, you can't really taste it if you're juicing it or making mm -hmm. smoothies. You but can get some from Yeah, that you can get a minimal amount of B12 from there. Um, so I'll probably go ahead and maybe supplement that uh, and we actually give spirulina to our dogs which is a, a really good supplement for a raw vegan plan um, and so I'll probably just start adding that to mine because they can get, you can get B12 out of there. Um, I don't think I get enough sunlight so vitamin D is probably another thing that I'm going to want to add. And um, this is winter time and it's so hard. It's, it's, it is it's depressing that, for me. So. I, I, yeah. Um, so that's probably something I'm going to do. Um, but other than starting with those two things to supplement my diet, I plan to stick with what I've been on. Um, and I, th I think a lot of experts, experts will say don't use supplements. A lot of raw vegan experts will say don't use supplements. You can get what you need naturally. A lot of raw vegan experts will say use supplements because you can't get what you need uh, naturally necessarily anymore. So. I didn't use any for these 30 days. I'm going to try for a while and we'll see which one works better. Um, 
We've mentioned before that uh, you know we've tried a 70% raw vegan lifestyle some time back. Um, I felt better then um, because I was eating healthier, uh, but eventually I slipped away, and uh, you know it was just too easy for me because of my personality to slip back into processed and comfort foods most of the time. Um, the other thing about that is. You know, we were, I was try at that time we were doing what your plan is to do, uh, which is to eat raw vegan healthy foods during the week and then on the weekends kind of let, let loose a little bit. And I was doing a lot of peaks and valleys there. I was constantly, you know, feeling kind of dumpy on the weekends and then I would spend my week trying to recover. And then I would feel dumpy on the weekends and spend my week trying to recover and so on and so forth. And I didn't realize how healthy I really could be if I just would have stuck with a raw vegan diet. And I still have a long ways to go. Um, I'm, like I just said, I just started feeling the, the positive effects of a 100% raw, raw vegan diet you know, within the last week or so. So I can only imagine how much better I'm gonna start feeling again. I mean, all of my organs are actually functioning. I, I thought everything was working really good before, but now I'm starting to realize that all of my organs uh, are functioning even better. I'm starting to feel younger again and everything is just working better and it's like oh, how did I think that I was healthy before because I wasn't. Because you didn't have any major illness like most people. Right. Either. They don't have any we're dying tomorrow or mm -hmm. the doctor said I'm dying in six months. Right. And you don't realize how much better you can feel even though you don't have right. anything like that. Yeah ex exactly and I, I just feel too good right now to go back to where I was. So I'm gonna stick with the raw vegan thing like I said add some supplements see how that goes. Um, I'm still figuring out my formula and just like, I, and that's something I'll be doing for the rest of my life. Um, I will mention to any, anybody out there that wants to consider a full raw vegan diet plan that this is something that takes commitment and it takes patience. Um, your resolve is going to be tested. Your relationships are going to be tested. Uh, your healing processes are going to be tested. Um, and this is not an easy road to follow. So do your research and make sure that you're up to the task if you want to go down this road. Um, find information and guidance from people like Lisa. Um, Get support. If, yeah, so that you can succeed. Absolutely. Um, um, and, and, you know, more power to you if you can. And if, if you don't succeed, it's okay too. If you try it for a day and that's all, that's all you get is one day, good for you At for doing it for know. a day. If you make it three days, good for you for making it for three days. Yeah. Um, but just be advised, it's, you know, it's, it's a tough road to follow. And do everything with awareness, which we've mentioned many times. Absolutely. So do you have uh, any last thoughts that you want to? I think I'm good. Um, okay. Yeah, just we'll be glad to help you in any way we can. And did you mention our website already? Um, I believe I did, but if I didn't, uh, www.yourhealthyourway dot net yeah, yeah. And, so uh, this has been fun and frustrating and exciting and wonderful this has really been a great experience so it has great so, thank you <laughs> um, and I want to thank all of you for uh, for following our video blog for this particular project um, please continue to check back on our website again www.yourhealthyourway.net um, for new and updated videos uh, we are finishing up on this project but we still intend to, to create new video blogs uh, or, or continue to video blog in the future um, as we you know find new and interesting things to to talk about and we hope to do it frequently um, and in fact uh, we are coming up at the end of this week on Valentine's Day um, and I don't well, the video won't be posted on Valentine's Day yet but we intend to um, do a another video on Valentine's Day uh, about lunar cycles and our health. So, uh, and we intend to continue to do that, you know, on a weekly basis. Try to look for for interesting things that we can talk about. So, please check our website. Um, and I want to thank my wonderful wife um, because without her support, I would not have succeeded, uh, and this video blog would not exist without Lisa. So it's going to make me cry. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much, and we look forward to continue talking to you in the future. This is Your Health, Your, your way. way. Bye. 
savvy. 